previously on Persona 5. Are you guys ready to finally explore Madame Rami's castle? I'm really excited to do this. Well, actually a museum, it's not actually a castle, but hey. Luckily, there was a nice conveniently placed van right there. Wouldn't it be really weird if he was like trapping his pupils like inside the paintings or something? I don't know why I thought that. Maybe it's just because like the paintings were moving and almost look looked real. Okay, I'm gonna see something really disturbing now, aren't I? I just know it. I can feel it in my bones. Wait a sec. <gasps> oh, it's it's the shadow guy. This looks ah. weird. Hmm. Yeah, that's my first thought. Hmm, what is this? <laughs> This looks really weird. So he's actually turning the pupils into art. Wait, is he not turning them into statues? I'm kind of confused here. Hello, and welcome. My name is Miss Multiconsole, and welcome back to Persona 5. We were just about to confront Yusuke and find out his true feelings on that sleazy old slime bag, that sleazy old man. I know he's up to something. We all know it. We all know he's up to something. Something that's not good, but we don't quite know if it's 100% legit, if it's really happening, or if he's really affecting the people around him as much as we think he is. So, let's see, I don't think I can do anything, no, we just gotta go straight to sleep. I know I always check every time, I'm so bad with it. I just wanna try and squeeze in that little bit extra, but it never lets me. Let's call it a day and go to bed. All right, sleep time, it's sleep time. I really love this soundtrack, by the way, the soundtrack that was just playing. And I think it stopped now, but never mind. Okay, we got a phone call. Oh no, it's still going. Yeah, it's still going. Hey, it's me. I normally have my volume really low when I'm recording because it kind of distracts me otherwise. How are you doing, Ruji? What do you want? I just can't forgive Mazarame, but what Anne said made me think. To Yusuke, are we just a bunch of fucks? Maybe. I, I don't know. Who knows? You don't know either, huh? I'm gonna make him pay. It ain't like he thinks it is. Pisses me off just thinking about it. Yeah, maybe Yusuke doesn't know the whole truth. I don't know, I don't know. It's all kind of clouded in mystery still. We've still got a lot of finding out and investigating to do, I think. Good people have to put up with so much crap while shitty adults do whatever they want. Makes me sick. I'm not wrong, am I? <laughs> no, you're right, we'll take them down. I don't know. This is like, don't know to everything. That would be kind of a lame response. Let's say you're right. Thanks. You know what they should have done? They should have done like a bad option and a good option. You know how Mass Effect plays where you can be a renegade or a paragon? It should kind of be like that. That would be awesome if they implemented that into the game as well where your choices actually affect like what kind of person you're playing as as well. That would be pretty cool. Don't tell Anne I called you by the way. Seriously, why not? See ya. Well, see you tomorrow. Does Ryuji have a crush on Anne, do you think? I'm not sure. I'm not sure if they have a thing for each other or not. I just can't work it out. I wonder who Anne likes. Maybe she doesn't like anyone. I don't know. Maybe she's just more focused on getting these horrible adults. Do you think we'll ever have a child target? Because they all seem to be adults, don't they? We should have an, a child one as well, or like a young person one, not all adults all the time. Alright, I contacted Kitagawa-kun about modelling for him. Okay. Still waiting for his response. Thanks. I really have no idea what I'm supposed to do as an art model though. Don't ask me. Don't just be yourself. Don't do anything. Cover yourself in paint. <laughs> I think we should be funny. Let's cheer her up a bit. Let's lift her spirits. Can you at least try to take this seriously? Oh, okay, she didn't like that. She didn't like that response. Look, you don't gotta go all out for this. You're only doing it so you can get dirt on Madarame, remember? That is true. It sounded like Kitagawa-kun wants this to be a private picture of his though. Okay, that is really creepy. Well, I guess I'll let you guys know when he contacts me again. Okay, you better. I don't want you going in there alone, woman. I'm worried for you. This just seems really creepy. And the way he approached her as well, now that just creeped me out. Hey! 
I got a response from Kisagawa-kun. He said he wants me to come over after school today. Okay. Perfect. He probably changed his plans immediately just so he could get you over there. <laughs> that sounds really, really creepy and weird. I kind of actually want to do my own thing at this point. Like, I actually want to go around town and do some stuff on my own. Like, maybe some memento stuff or maybe some, like, just exploring and stuff like that. But we got, we're got we very heavy on the story at, at the moment. Not that that's a bad thing. It's just I would really like to explore a little bit and do some other stuff a little bit. That's all. We need to find out from Kitagawa-kun if what we saw in the past palace was true. Hmm. Hey, quiet down! It's that student council president! Oh no, luckily Morgana was keeping watch. Oh, here she comes. Oh no, she's not over here. She's all the way over there. She must have ears like a hawk if she can hear us all the way over there. She could be talking on, to Mishima. Yikes! She got hold of Mishima today. It'd suck if she noticed us. Come on, let's split up. Okay, see you later. Alright. Abort! Run away! In all different directions. <laughs> we don't want to get caught by her. She's on to us. All right. I guess our meetup point is just like by that table now, you know? We've been there a few times actually at that point. We finally landed a big target. Ryuji's getting ahead of himself here, isn't he? Come on, let's get some dirt on Madarame. Alright, let's do it. He's excited. But man, Anne's late. Sorry. Oh, she's here. Thank God for that. That girl makes me worried. She does. She makes me worried a lot. I think it's just because of everything that happened with Kamashida-kun. She just like... Oh my god, I even said kun. Oh my god. <laughs> what has this game done to me? <laughs> I'm using honorifics. <laughs> I didn't even mean to. Oops. <laughs> I was thinking about some things and didn't notice how much time had passed. Okay. Thinking about what? Hey. Don't you think Kitagawa-kun has to be protecting Madarame? I think it's because of the kun that she keeps adding at the end of Kitagawa is like rubbing off on me. I keep like, cause I keep reading it over and over again. So <laughs> it's like stuck in my head. But yeah, he could be protecting Madarame. I've said that from like the very start when he first told us about him saving his life. I think that's a very high possibility for sure. I mean, they live together so he'd have to be aware of Madarame's true nature. The only reason I can think for him doing that is that Madarame has something on him. Hmm, really? Yeah, that's weird. Wait. I think it also depends how long that Yusuke has been living with Madarame because when you live for someone for a long time, sometimes you don't see things that other people will see. But that's why we're going to check it out, right? You ready to be a model? Yeah, I'm prepared. Okay, cool. What do you mean prepared? Prepared for what? Hey. Something seemed different about her to you? Oh no, is is it is it one of these questions? You know when girls get really um, get really mad when you don't notice something. <laughs> um did she cut her bangs? Let's go for that one. Oh, nice eye. Was it that? I didn't cut them. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, well, let's get going. <laughs> Quick. <laughs> we got to talk to Yusuke. Kitagawa-kun seemed really happy when I agreed to be his model. Okay, let's go. Once he finishes drawing and gets a little friendlier, we should bring up Madarame-kun. I did it again. <laughs> Madarame, I mean. <laughs> So we're going to do some bonding with Yusuke before we ask him about the dirty. Right, okay. Let's go. Hopefully we'll get offered a drink this time. I thought it would just be you coming, Takamaki-san. God, he really hates us. What did we do to make him hate us so much? <laughs> Does he just not like us? Is, is, is he being sexist? <laughs> Wouldn't you get nervous too, if it was just the two of us? We're here to keep an eye on you, so uh, don't try anything perverted, okay? Ryuji is the knight in shining armor. Stop making such odd assumptions. 
I have absolutely no interest in her as someone of the opposite sex. Not even a little bit? Huh? Do you think Anne's going to get offended by that? <laughs> I think she might have been a little upset because he said that. Is there a problem? No, not really. Oh, nice pose, Anne. Well then, so let's casual. Get started. <laughs> Is he really going to paint her in that pose? Is he not like going to move her into like the perfect pose or anything? I guess not. All right then, casual look it is. Hey. Kitagawa kun? Hmm. Oh, I don't think he likes being talked to when he's concentrating. <laughs> you hear her? He's concentrating, guys. Let him concentrate. <sighs> This isn't going to be much of a bonding session, is it? We're not going to be able to bond with it's this guy no very much. This isn't what we planned. We were going to catch him off guard and make him spill his beans, weren't we? Yeah, looks like that's not happening. How were we supposed to know this was going to happen? To be honest, I didn't really think it was going to be that easy to get this guy to open up. He doesn't seem to be the most open type. Guess we just gotta wait till he's done. What an effing pain in the ass. I bet that's gonna be so boring. He could take hours doing that. Perhaps I should try going outside this room. Hey, that's a good idea. He's a cat, so he might get away with it. Okay, uh, but at the same time, it's like, do we risk Morgana? But what are they gonna do with a cat? They're not gonna do much to a cat, are they? All right, don't get, don't get caught. Go on, do it. You'll be fine. Who do you think you're talking to? Morgana, the cat's a burglar. <laughs> He's as stealthy as a ninja. Remember, he did sneak up to King Kamishida and steal his crown, so I have faith in him. You can do it, Morgana. This is too boring, so I'm going to scout around a bit. I think it would be pretty boring in there. Okay, have fun. Can I, can I control Morgana? I don't want to sit there and watch them paint. <laughs> Oh, what's that? It's weird how flashy that door is. Yeah, and it's got a lock on it. That seems fishy. And is that a lock? Yeah. A door with a hefty lock. What could be in there? I wonder. I wonder if Morgana's going to find a way into that room. I'm really curious. Are you done? <gasps> is he finally done? It's no good. Oh no, he's not happy. What? I'm sorry. Am I the problem? No, not at all. It's just... She needs a better pose. That's what's wrong. I'm having trouble staying focused today. I'm sorry, but we'll have to resume this another time. Okay. I guess. Oh, hell no! How many hours do you think you made us wait? <laughs> It does really suck because it kind of feels like we're going to have a wasted day now. I'm sorry. We had another reason for seeing you today. We needed to talk to you. It's about those rumors regarding your sensei. Oh, Ryu, they're just like, I just think they're a bit too direct. I don't really know how they would confront this any other way, but I don't think that this is a good way. I think he's just going to get angry, isn't he? He got angry last time. This again. Oh, God. And that painting I saw at the exhibit. You're the one who actually painted it, right? He can't deny that That's... one. He, he clearly, when he's lying, he clearly closes one eye. I, I've noticed that he always does that. Your sensei's seriously messed up. He just thinks of his pupils as tools. That's why he doesn't give a damn whether he steals their work or physically beats them. I'll make this clear. There's no point in hiding stuff from us. I don't think he's been beaten. I don't get that impression from him. <laughs> I have no idea what you're talking about. You couldn't go against him, could you? I'm sure we can help you out, though. Stop it. It's just as you all say. We're our sensei's artwork. Oh, he's actually owning up to it. A little. Don't misunderstand me, though. I offered my ideas to him myself. 
As such, it can't be called plagiarism. He's doing it willingly? Why? Is it because he saved him? Sensei is simply suffering from artist's block right now. I guess that's the same thing as writer's Dude, block. Still. <sighs> Hitago kun. Then why are you sticking around? All his other pupils ran away. Aren't you the only one left? I don't think they ran away. I think something worse happened to them. <laughs> but bless Ryuji for thinking something so innocent. I don't think they ran away. What's wrong with a pupil helping out his master? I wonder, maybe he is right. I don't know. There are no victims here. Stop pushing your self-centered righteousness on me. But he's stealing, and the other pupils, you're okay with this? Let's ask about the other pupils, see what he says about them. Interesting response. <laughs> I'm supporting Sensei as his pupil. Where's the wrong in that? Don't ever come here again. If you do, I'll sue you for causing a disturbance. So you don't care about finishing the painting then? You did half of it, and then you don't want to finish it. What? Hold it! We're not done talking here! Then you leave me with no choice. Is this the part where he goes, Guards! Security! <laughs> hey! What's he doing? I'm reporting you to the police. Oh, the police. Well, that's uh, just near enough the same. I asked Hakamaki-san to be my model today, but I don't recall ever calling you two here. What the F, man? He really doesn't like us. Yuji, stop it! Calm down, okay? Damn it! I won't report to you, but only under one condition. That Anne comes here alone next time. Oh god, don't say it. What's that? I want you to continue being my model, Takamaki-san. At least take Morgana with her. I hope she at least takes Morgana if she agrees to go on. Uh, if she agrees to go alone. But you said that it wasn't working out today. That's because I was unconsciously being modest for your sake. However, I have nothing to worry about anymore. If you are willing to bear everything to me. Is is that what I think it means? Does he want her to do a nude one? I think it's a nude one. I will put my heart and soul into creating the best nude painting ever! I knew it! Oh my god! I said this like a few episodes back like, oh no, it's not going to be a nude one, is it? Oh god, Anne's not going to want to do that, surely. Not after everything she's been through. What?! <laughs> uh, nude?! My god. Uh. To think I'd be able to create a nude painting with my most ideal model. She hasn't even said yes yet. <laughs> Jeez. Of course, you two won't be allowed in, and I ask that you forget about our discussion today as well. Maybe that's why he didn't like us. If I don't submit a new piece to Sensei soon, there will be some inconveniences. Oh yeah, what inconveniences are those then? I like how Ryuji and Anne are both just stand stood there like completely shocked and we're just stood there with like total swag. Look at us, we're just like so chilled. <laughs> Nude, meaning it'll be without any clothes, right? Why are things suddenly escalating like that? <laughs> She's blushing. Because those are my terms. But that's... Wait, ain't that bad? Since he is out during the afternoon while the art exhibit is on, so I can use this place freely. Does he not get the implications of that at all? Like a young guy and a young girl and the girl being nude. I mean, come on, you know, chemistry. <laughs> I should buy more art supplies. He seriously thinks that Anne's gonna say yes. Will you give me a second here? Uh, of course, I'm willing to wait. I'll make time according to your plans. But please come before the exhibit ends. My god. No, that's not what I mean! Why are you not listening? How come Anne hasn't just straight away just said no? Is she actually thinking about it? Is she actually going to try? So, you know, because we do need some information about him. 
Sensei will be returning home soon. We're done for today. Takalaki-san, I'll be waiting for you to contact me. No, no, no! We are not done talking here! Hey, what should we do? Say no? That would be a good option. I don't know. We have to leave. Uh, I don't know. Yeah. Damn it. He got us good this time. Don't give up so easily! <laughs> We're just gonna leave now. Huh? Is she done being a model? Oh, imagine how Morgana would react to that. I think he would freak. A cat? You moron! Yeah, that is kind of random. Because I'm like, what? Why did they bring a cat here? He's totally out of his mind! I'm gonna have to pose nude if this keeps up! Yeah, we're gonna have to do something. How dare that Yusuke! The way he said it, it's not gonna be semi but full on nude. <laughs> Ryuji's just making her feel worse. <laughs> <laughs> Full nudity? Uh, Lady On's gonna... <laughs> Drop it! You know, you won't have to worry about that if we make Madarame confess before the exhibit ends. Yeah, but how are we gonna do that? But Kitagawa-kun thinks he owes his life to him. Is there a need to make Madarame confess? Yeah, this is quite the conundrum, really, if you think about it that way. Then, Lady On, you're fine with bearing it all? <laughs> but really, he's still doing something bad, so I mean, fair enough, Yusuke accepts it, but will the next pupil accept it? I doubt it. I am not! Madarame's no different from Kamoshida. That asshole's using Yusuke who doesn't have parents. Yeah, he's taking advantage of him. And, and Yusuke's blinded because he lost his parents. You're telling me we should just ignore how he's being treated horribly like the other pupils? No. It is frustrating to leave this alone, even if Kitagawa-kun is fine with it himself. You can't leave it be because you've endured a lot yourself with Kamoshida. Thing is, it's, it's kind of difficult because we are actually going to be taking this guy away from him at the end of it because he's going to end up confessing to the police, right? So he's going to be left with nobody again after we do this. So it's kind of sad, really. I think this is going to have a really sad outcome. Yeah. Anyways, we got to go after this guy. Madarame is the kind of target we've been waiting for. Yeah, he's famous. Let's help Yusuke come to his senses, too. Before he ends up like us. What do you mean, before he ends up like us? Huh? I didn't get that part. Right. We need to look into Madarame first. There might be tons more stuff that hasn't been exposed yet, too. Maybe he means the whole incident with Kamishida. You know, the stuff that they went through. It may become easier for us to investigate his palace if he's preoccupied with his exhibit. Okay. That's cool. Also, there's the thing about me modeling. Kitagawa-kun said there'd be inconveniences unless he submits a new piece. Maybe that's going to be announced soon as Madarame's next work. Does that mean the whole country's gonna see you nude? Pretty much. That's what it means to, to you know, paint her, to paint her nude. I, I already automatically assumed that. Probably. No way! Hell no! Yeah, I wouldn't want that either. That'd be embarrassing. We must deal with Madarame, no matter what, before his exhibit ends. Why is it always Anne that gets put in these situations? Let's start after school tomorrow. Okay, so I think we have a new deadline then, since we have to do it by the time his exhibit ends. Oh, it'll be a pain if Miss President finds us on the rooftop again, so... Uh, where to meet up? Let's see... My house! I guess that walkway-like place in Shibuya would work. It's near Madarama's place, too. Oh. <laughs> Changing our hideout periodically, huh? 
That's a plan I don't mind backing. That's true. If we change it around a lot, that would actually be really good. Like, then nobody would find us. Your hideout has moved from the Shujin Academy rooftop to the Shibuya Take You Building Access Way. Okay. Hey, uh, can I talk to you kids for a sec? Camera wearing woman. Is she from the newspaper? Huh? From the looks of things, you don't seem like the ordinary stalking fans. Uh... Oh, sorry. I should have been more clear. I'm actually looking for people that know Madarame's pupils. There's this painting, Sayuri, that was supposedly stolen in the past. Oh, interesting. But there's this rumor that it was taken by one of his pupils in retaliation for being abused. Have you heard anything about that? No. We don't care about arts. Ryuji knows. What? How does Ryuji know? Let's say a little blah, blah, blah. I don't know what to say. I'm just gonna go. Let's let's see what Ryuji knows. Does he know? Me? Yeah, you know, don't you? <laughs> I don't know nothing. <laughs> I didn't think he did. I see. There's no case unless there's a victim, and if there's no proof of abuse, I can't write either. Looks like I'm back to square one. Sorry for taking your time. So I played one of the old Persona games on my PSVR, I've probably mentioned it before, but there was a newspaper lady in that one and I'm sure she looked like kind of similar to- Do the Persona games always have like a newspaper person in them, like an article person or something? I was just wondering. I'm a journalist. If you ever get any leads, mind contacting me here? Yeah, it was really obvious that she was a journalist. See you then. Could just be a coincidence though. Alright, I love her smile. She's got a really nice smile. I don't know why, <laughs> I just really liked it. I guess we should go home for today. Also, she was talking about Rumours, which is the Persona game I played. There's a Persona game, an old one, don't know what it's called, can't remember, but it's all about Rumours and you like pass on these Rumours and then they become true. But I haven't played that much of it, just like a few hours. So I wonder if that is a reference at all. Whatever, I still can't forgive him, demanding to paint the Lady Anne nude and then claiming to report us to the police. I know, the nerve, the nerve of him. Hello? Hey, it's me, I got a minute, oh Mishima, hey. I have some interesting news. Okay, what? Actually, someone who received a change of heart contacted me on the fan site. Oh, I wonder if it's that um Neka Uka dude. Said he wants to meet with you to discuss another person who needs a change of heart. Okay, another change of heart. You're better off talking to him in person if you want specifics. All I know is his target is a terrible person and that it might complicate things if he posted the name online. Interesting. I'll have him wait for you at Shibuya Station after school. Okay, the, the guy's name is Nakanohara. Of course, it's him again. Okay, this is going to be related to the main story then. Hmm. Hmm. Nakanohara, that's Madarame's student. Nice. I told him to approach you. Good luck. Thank you. Awesome, we now have a new lead. Oh my god, the phone's going off again. I found something insane about Madarame. Or oh, what is it? Sounds like a student of his offed himself when he couldn't speak up about Madarame stealing his work. <gasps> Someone killed themselves. Is that true? That journalist was looking into Madarame too. It could be real. Someone died though. No one's talking about it. I bet it was covered up. Oh my god. I wonder if Kitagawa-kun has heard anything. It'd be great if he could help us out. Ain't that asking a bit much? After today, he's probably gonna be on edge about us. Well anyway, Madarame's still a piece of crap. Let's meet up tomorrow. It'll be the first time at the new hideouts. It's that passageway in Shibuya, right? Got it. See you guys tomorrow. 
If the rumour Ryuji just spoke of is true, there have to be other victims. Interesting. It's getting interesting. I can't wait to find out more. I really wonder if he's just making the students actually into art. I really think that's what's going on here. Anyway, that's the end of this video. I hope you enjoyed. Please comment, rate and subscribe and I hope I'll see you next time. Didn't even get to oh.